LPV stands for Localizer Performance with Vertical Guidance. LPV is a category of approach minimums for RNAV approaches that are typically lower than LNAV or LNAV-VNAV minimums. RNAV approaches with LPV minimums are built on the Satellite-Based Augmentation System, or SBAS. In the United States and Canada, this system is known as the Wide Area Augmentation System, or WAS. An RNAV approach with LPV minimums combines the FMS navigation database with SBAS signals from GPS satellites to produce an approach that closely mimics an ILS. FMS navigation databases in SBAS-capable aircraft contain an additional piece of information for each LPV approach called a Final Approach Segment, or FAS, data block. An RNAV approach with LPV minimums combines information from the FAS data with highly accurate SBAS correction signals to produce an approach that closely mimics an ILS. This increased accuracy allows LPV approach minimums to be as low as 200 feet and one half mile visibility. Similar to an ILS, when LPV is active on an approach, course deviations are angular instead of linear, meaning the sensitivity of the deviations are increased as the aircraft approaches the runway. Approaches with LPV minimums are conducted using the Approach button on the Guidance Panel, which activates the NAV and VGP submodes. However, when the aircraft begins the final approach segment and LPV is active, the lateral and vertical deviations are no longer provided by the FMS, but are sent directly from the GPS sensor. Let's walk through an operational example of an approach to LPV minimums. First, select the appropriate runway in the Arrival tab. Then, select the desired RNAV approach and approach transition. Select Insert to insert the changes to the pending flight plan. After reviewing the changes, select Activate to load the approach to the active flight plan. When selecting an RNAV approach with LPV minimums, LPV is the default minimum selection. Each RNAV approach with LPV minimums is identified with a unique reference identifier or approach ID. The pilot must verify the reference ID on the approach chart, the star landing tab on the MFD, and on the PFD. After an RNAV LPV approach is loaded, the LPV armed annunciator is displayed in the LPV approach status display. Once an approach clearance is received and the final approach fix is the active waypoint, the approach mode can be armed by pushing the Approach button on the guidance panel. When the approach is armed, NAV and VGP are displayed as the armed submodes and vertical course deviations are shown using a cyan pointer. The LNAV course and VGP glide path are captured similar to an ILS localizer and glide slope. When VGP is captured, vertical deviations are shown using a magenta deviation pointer. In VGP mode, the altitude preselector is ignored so the missed approach altitude can now be set. Approximately two nautical miles from the final approach fix, the approach annunciator on the PFD is displayed. In addition, the LPV captured annunciator is displayed in the LPV approach status display. A green active LPV annunciator displayed on the PFD indicates that the aircraft is now using high integrity angular deviations directly from the GPS to guide the lateral and vertical path of the aircraft to make an approach to LPV minimums. The VGP mode and glide path during an RNAV LPV approach are similar to the ILS glide slope mode in that it will continue a descent below the altitude set in the preselector. As the aircraft reaches the LPV minimum altitude, the pilot must either continue to land or initiate a missed approach. As the aircraft descends past the LPV minimum altitude, the flight guidance will continue to fly the aircraft to the runway. However, minimum use height of the autopilot still applies and the pilot must disconnect the autopilot at the appropriate altitude. When a missed approach is initiated and the TOGA button is pushed, Navigation guidance automatically transitions from SBAS guidance back to FMS. 
When conducting SBAS operations, there are a few important things to remember. LP minimums on RNAV approaches stands for localizer performance without vertical guidance. Future builds of the PC24 ACE system will support approaches to LP minimums. Pilots must be familiar with the fail-down capabilities of their SBAS system. An amber LPV enunciator is displayed on the PFD up to 30 nautical miles from the landing threshold when conditions exist that would prohibit descending to LPV minimums. In addition, when the amber LPV enunciator is displayed or continues to be displayed inside two nautical miles of the final approach fix, a red X is displayed on the vertical deviation indicator. Refer to AC90-107 or AMC20-28 and company provided training material for further information on SBAS fail-down procedures. Pilots must notify air traffic control of any loss of GPS or SBAS capability and state their proposed course of action. RNAV approaches with LPV minimums together with SBAS systems provide an efficient alternative to traditional ILS approaches. This video has been an overview of LPV. Please be sure to refer to AC90-107 or AMC20-28 and your aircraft pilot manual for more detailed information.